Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the heavyweight bout between Junior Taffa versus Sean Sheriff. And how do I feel about this one right here? Is I'm going low confidence, um, Junior Taffa to beat Sean Sheriff. And um, it's a pretty obvious reason why you're going low confidence, well, why I'm going low confidence here. It's like, you know, Sean Sheriff hasn't really shown much, but that's a good and a bad thing for him. You know, the lack of what he's shown is enough reason for me to pick against him, to fade him. You know, his pattern, you know, when he's fighting, the level of competition he's fighting, how long he's been in the game, he's probably been training for a minute. But I feel like, um, as far as competing, he's only turned pro in like 21, 22. And then he's still on that route where he has not tried to test himself at all. He's been fighting guys that's like coming off losing streak, guys that, you know, been chinny, guys that are very limited. And he like, he has like literally just been, you know, fighting tailor-made opponents. Guys that are pretty much, you might as well have been paid to lose. That's what we've been fighting. He hasn't, been, he hasn't tried to test himself at all. And Junior Tava at least has competed at a, you know, at a pretty decent level of kickboxing. Plenty of experience in there. Got a lot of brothers who have you know done kickboxing and competed at a pretty high level in kickboxing or MMA, indoor MMA. And um, yeah, I just think his strike is much more credentialed, much more polished. And all I see from Sean Sheriff is striking. And it's been very little bit of striking. Anybody can look good when they get him, you know, any bit decent and get him, you know, fighting the, the straight up guys that don't belong in the cage at all, have no business in the cage. Anyone can look good doing that. And I can't really get behind Sean Sheriff that. My issue here is, like, my concern here really is, um, is Sean Sheriff, where's his grappling? I do think Junior Tava does have questionable grappling. And has been exploited twice, but I don't think Sean Sheriff's going to be to the level of the people he fought. Walter Walker, you know, had a good wealth of experience. He has, you know, a good high-level grappling. I'm not going to say, you know, for the level that it is, that they are at, it's a good high-level. You know, further up in the, in the division and in the sport, low, kind of low-level grappling, but for where they are, it's like phenomenal. So, I, I'm, I'm not going to expect Sean Sheriff to have Walter Walker level grappling. I'm not. I'm definitely not going to expect him to have um, Carl Williams level of wrestling. And, yeah, and also coming on short notice and never testing himself, I can't really expect him to be the one to take him to the deep round and drown him or anything. I expect him to come out trying to touch his chin. I think Junior Tom will be, he's going to have, what, an inch taller, like an inch, an inch taller and like an inch advantage in reach in the, you know, more polished striking game and more tested um, game in general raw as far as the fighter, you know, tested in um, in MMA because he's been UFC co fighter. Hasn't been the best path for him. I mean, hasn't been the most successful, but he has been testing himself against UFC level fighters. Whether it be the low end, really, but that's a it's night and day difference than the level of competition Sean Shepard has fought professionally. And I think, um, yeah, going with the guy who's more seasoned, more experienced, has the height, has the reach, has the kickboxing background versus a guy that's, you know, largely unproven and largely just avoided any bit of challenge in his um, competitive MMA career. And I think, um, well, pro um, pro MMA career, and I think um, even his amateur career looked the same, like he's fighting tomato cans. But, um, yeah, I think, um, yeah, I'm going with the more seasoned striker, Junior Toppin, the guy who has had a training camp to get this one done, and I'm going to say in the first round. Both of these guys come in throwing heat. But I guess I'm expecting the junior tower to be sharper, longer, more technical, be able to find the cleaner shots down the middle, beat them to the punch, and put them out, you know, in the early, well, I'm going to say the mid to late section of the first round. So in this one, I have Junior Taffa via first round TKO.